What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Um, just off the bat, if you're new to the channel, thanks for watching this video. Um, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe below. But today, I have an awesome, epic uh, catch. And it wasn't me personally. It was my buddy Rob, and it was his first time catching this fish. Uh, and he's been chasing it for a while, and it was it was an epic fish, especially to have as the first one you catch. So we were in a bass tournament, and you're going strictly for bass. But when you throw that bait in the water, you never know what you're going to catch, especially you know in in all these lakes around here that have multi species. But you could be fishing for bass and catch crappie or catfish or whatever. You just never know, and that's the excitement that comes with fishing is you never know exactly what you're going to catch until you pull it into the boat. So without further ado, here's a clip of what happened during the tournament, the bass tournament that we had this past weekend. And it's a pretty epic, uh, pretty epic uh, feat, I guess you would call it, to catch one of these fish, especially the way he caught it. So thanks for watching. We'll see you at the end of the video. Well, Rob just hooked into a massive flathead catfish. Holy crap, what'd you catch him on? Oh, damn. Oh, dude, I thought I had him. Oh, I thought I had him on the back. Ooh, that thing is. Mmm. I've always wanted to catch one. Well, there you go. Oh, maybe. Hot hit, buddy. I'm trying to stay away so it doesn't get. You're right. This is a lot harder than I thought it would be. Dude, it hit right off the rocks. Really? Inches of water. Damn. And I thought, dude, as soon as he hit, he just pulled drag and just kept going. I was like, this is a bass. This is a f***ing. <laughs> <laughs> right Jesus. Put your hand in his mouth. Just noodle it. Oh, uh, you want some man grippers, dude? I got some man grips. Yeah. Here. There you go. I got some big ones. I'll throw them in your boat. Jesus. Oh, yeah, I'm trying to turn you around so I can back up. Holy shit. I think my swim jig worked. Yeah? Get the catfish. <laughs> Always wanted to catch one. I wonder if he's ready to bring in. <laughs> Anybody got a camera? I got one. I got I got my phone. You ready? Yeah. Oh. There you go. Here, let me turn you around. I'm gonna spin you around. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I'm gonna spin you. Here, there you go. There you go. <laughs> Holy shit. Dude, he hit inches of water, man. Jesus. I thought it was a world record bass. <laughs> Dude. Put him on the measuring board. Come on. <laughs> hey, do you have a tape on you? No, I don't have a tape on me. Oh. <laughs> That's what I say. <laughs> Big fish. <laughs> Damn, I wish I had my tape on. That That's one of the biggest catfish yeah. I've seen caught like in person. Still good looking 50 pounds. Yeah. 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 They come over from uh, Smith. Yep. Jesus. Dude, man, I I was like, come on, give me another bass, give me another bass. <laughs> Boom! I was like, holy <laughs> This isn't going to be accurate because of the... I think it's like a 11 ounces. Are you ready? Yeah. It's probably See not. that for the yeah. big bass competition? <laughs> <laughs> you win the catfish division. Yeah, right. All right. Now, there's a hole right here. Yeah. Twenty 
That's cold, dude. <laughs> <laughs> A swim jig? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I seen uh That's a pretty fucking fish. Yeah. Did you get a good picture? Yeah. Alright, cool. Yeah man, he started to go underneath that dock. And I was like, if this is a bass, dude, this thing's gonna be monstrous. That thing is thick. <laughs> yeah, look at that bad boy. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you over there. Alright. Yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, so what'd you think of that video? Let me know down in the comments below how crazy is that to catch a 25 pound flathead and it's his first one he's ever caught. He said he's been chasing it for quite a while and to catch it on a swim jig of all things in about this much water. I mean he said he was right up on that shoreline and it almost pulled him into the rocks. Uh, I'm surprised it didn't break off. He was using 20 pound fluorocarbon line and it's a real testament to, uh, to that type of line and that brand of line that he was using that day. And uh, unfortunately, he only ended up catching three bass for the tournament. But I would have taken that any day. Uh, that was a monstrous fish. And to see him reel in that monster fish was amazing just to be able to video it. And I, I just want to give big props again to Rob for catching that fish and don't think I'm just stealing his his thunder here he's already posted it on social media and uh, I actually asked him if I could post this to YouTube and he gave me the green light and it just it's one of those experiences you may not have ca caught that fish but just watching someone catch it just it brightens up your day it was a tough day of fishing too by the way it was awful but to say it again it was the most epic fish I've seen personally caught. And to be able to uh, witness it live and in person was pretty cool. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. And we'll see you later.